Hello friends, welcome to my channel, my channel Parag Jambulga. In this video, we will see one important concept in our programming languages that is programming paradigm. If we have to define programming paradigm, so we can define it as a way to classify programming languages based on their features. So how we classify programming languages based on their features we call them programming paradigm or in simple words how we write a program is called as programming paradigm so basically there are two main types one is imperative and another is declarative in imperative programming paradigm again there are two types one is procedural and another is object oriented while in declarative programming paradigm again there are two types one is functional functional is also called as applicative and second is logic or logic or rule based so now we'll see what do by imperative programming paradigm and declarative programming paradigm so basically imperative programming paradigm focus on how how in the sense how something or how some operations happen it focus on state change but what do you mean by state now look at this we will have a simple example suppose we have two variables x and y so at some time suppose x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 so at that particular time instance x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 3 this is the state so at a particular time instance whatever the values are saved are allocated to the variables is called as state at that particular time instance after some time suppose x is get allocated to 5 now x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 9 so this is the state at that particular time instance after again after some time suppose value of x will get changed value of y will get changed so that will be the state at that particular time instance so this is how as time passes state also get changed imperative programming paradigms focus on how state get changed so it mostly focus on state changes while in declarative programming paradigm there is no state get change so it not change any state it takes inputs and this declarative programming paradigm focus on what what in the sense what result you are expecting what are the properties of result that you are expecting so here we are not focusing on in state change here we focus on the output what and while uh, ex uh, while getting output we expect a result or we expect some properties from the result so mainly declarative programming paradigm we focus on what what type of result you want while in imperative programming paradigm we focus on how we get the result how we get the final output so for that state get changed while in declarative programming paradigm there is no state change 